Cotabato nakapagtala ng sampung kaso ng MPAC. Brigada G. Goko Studio, i-brigada mo! Brigada. Brigada. Report. Nagbabala ang mga health authorities sa posibleng pagtaas ng kaso ng MPAC sa South Cotabato matapos makapagtala alalawigan ng sampung kaso ng sakit. Ang apat na kaso ng MPAC sa inaitala sa Tibuli, dalawa sa Soralia at tigi isang kaso sa Banga, Coronadal, Tantangan at Lake Cebu. Ang integrated Provincial Health Office Chief Dr. Conrado Branya, ang mga kumpirmadong kaso ay bahagi ng labinsyam na naitalang pinaghihinala ang kaso mula sa mga rural health units at hospital. Anim na ang nagnegatibo, habang tatlo pa naghihintay ng kumpirmasyon mula sa Department of Health. Wala umanong travel history o exposure sa kumpirmadong kaso. Ang karamihan sa mga pasyente at lahat ng kaso ay mild lamang. Isinasa ilalim na sa tamang gamutan ng mga pasyente habang patuloy ang contact tracing at mahigpit na pagbabantay sa mga nakasalamuha. Pinaigting din ng surveillance at information drive sa buong probinsya upang maagapan ang pagkalat ng sakit. Q. Is MPOX or monkeypox a viral disease? A. Yes, MPOX is a viral disease. It is caused by the monkeypox virus, which belongs to the orthopox virus genus, the same family of viruses that include smallpox. Q. Is MPOX contagious? A. Yes, MPOX is contagious. It can spread from person to person through direct contact with the MPOX rash, scabs, or body fluids of an infected person. This is the primary mode of transmission, especially during intimate or sexual contact. Close, face-to-face -face contact, including prolonged exposure to respiratory droplets from coughing or sneezing. Contact with contaminated objects or fabrics that have touched the rashes or body fluids of a person with MPOX, such as bedding, towels, or clothing. A pregnant person can also pass the virus to their unborn baby. MPOX can also spread from animals to humans through bites, scratches, or contact with an infected animal's bodily fluids or waste. A person with MPOX can spread the virus from the time symptoms start until the rash has fully healed and a new layer of skin has formed. Q. Is MPOX fatal? A. While MPOX is generally not considered fatal for most people, it can be in some cases. The severity of the illness and the risk of death can vary depending on several factors. Q. Can BKC or benzalkonium chloride kill MPOX virus? A. Yes. Benzalkonium chloride is generally considered effective against the MPOX virus. MPOX is an enveloped virus, meaning it has an outer fatty lipid layer that is relatively easy for many disinfectants to disrupt. Benzalkonium chloride is a type of quaternary ammonium compound, QAC, which works by damaging the outer envelope of viruses and cell membranes of bacteria, leading to their inactivation. Studies have shown that disinfectants containing quaternary ammonium compounds, including benzalkonium chloride, can be effective against orthopox viruses like MPOX and vaccinia virus, a closely related virus often used in disinfectant testing. Q. Can Spectra B2Z version 2.0 thermal fogging solution? A. Yes, Spectra B2Z version 2.0 thermal fogging solution can kill the MPOX virus. Here's why. Active ingredient. Spectra B2Z version 2.0 thermal fogging solution contains benzalkonium chloride, BKC, as its active ingredient. Efficacy against enveloped viruses. As established in previous discussions, benzalkonium chloride is a quaternary ammonium compound, QAC, that is highly effective against enveloped viruses, which include MPOX virus. It works by damaging the outer fatty envelope of the virus, rendering it inactive. Thermal fogging application. The product is specifically designed for thermal fogging. Thermal fogging creates very fine droplets that can spread widely and penetrate hard-to-reach areas, potentially improving surface coverage compared to traditional spray or wipe methods, especially for airborne pathogens or large spaces. Studies have shown that thermal fogging with disinfectants, including those containing similar compounds, can effectively inactivate enveloped viruses on surfaces. Important considerations for thermal fogging against MPOX. Coverage. While fogging covers a wide area, it's crucial to ensure sufficient contact time on surfaces. The effectiveness depends on the fog reaching and settling on all contaminated surfaces. Ventilation. After fogging, proper ventilation of the area is generally recommended as per disinfectant product instructions. Manufacturer's instructions. Always strictly follow the instructions provided on the Spectra B2Z version 2.0 label for dilution, application rate, fogging duration, and post-fogging procedures, like ventilation and re-entry time. These instructions are critical for both effectiveness and safety. Cleaning before disinfection. 
For optimal results, visible dirt and debris should be removed from surfaces before fogging, as organic matter can reduce the efficacy of disinfectants. In summary, given that Spectra B2Z version 2.0 utilizes benzalkonium chloride and is designed for broad-spectrum disinfection via thermal fogging, it can be an effective tool for inactivating the MPOX virus on surfaces when used correctly.